Hey, it's Entheogen, and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. Uh, when we left last time, we'd released, recently released the um, ninja strategy simulation game called Samurai Complete Battle. Uh, didn't do as well as its predecessor, Middle Ages Complete Battle, but it was doing okay. I mean, it's, it's making some money. Um, let's go ahead and uh, develop a new game. We're going to call it... Um, what are we going to call this game? Well, first of all, let's pick a topic. Uh, medieval, UFO, city, spy, martial arts. We haven't done a mystery game yet. And um, pick a genre. It's going to be a mystery uh, uh, action game. And they're going to pick a platform. We're going to do it on the Mbox 360 and on the Play System 3. And it is going to be called, what's it going to be called? Um, it's going to be called, um, what's our mystery game? Well, first of all, let's pick the game engine. Game engine, Z engine. It's going to be called, um, what's our mystery going to be called? That's an interesting question. What are we going to call this game? Uh, we're going to call it Alan Wick. Okay. Um... It's gonna be E for everyone. It's gonna be a medium sized game. Next game. Okay, um, we're gonna use 3D graphics version 2 and start development. Alright, so Star Mariah Complete Battle is still doing pretty well. Um, gameplay is gonna be kind of important. Story and quest, I think, is gonna be a little more important than that. Everything looks good. Okay, let's do that. Boop, boop. The problem is, is, I wish I could assign these guys to work on different. You know more stuff because I've got four employees, but only I can only have three areas I can assign them to. There is a clear trend towards RPG games recently. Well, unfortunately, we're doing an action game. Okay, so dialogue's not very important for this kind of thing. Level design very important. Artificial intelligence also very important. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some marketing going. Advertise in magazines. I think we want to keep it kind of mysterious. We don't want people to get the gameplay too early in a mystery game. Samurai Complete Battle is now off the market. It sold uh, 598,000 units, generating 6.5 million in sales. Okay, so it did, it did pretty well. It was a moderate hit. I mean, it wasn't huge, but it was okay. Not as big as it's as Middle Ages Complete Battle, but it was pretty good. Okay, technology's coming up on that. Okay, so sound, uh, pretty good. World design, that sort of stuff. Everything looks good on this. Okay. We need to get some graph, some three D graphics version three. That's what we need. Because right now we're, the graphics kind of stink. I mean, that's just the reality. Okay, so we need to get the bugs out of it. Alan Wick is going to be a huge success. Bugs, bugs. These guys are getting kind of tired. Small booth. At, uh, e at G3, excuse me. Okay. You guys done? So once the hype starts to drop, there you go. Now you want to release it. So go ahead and release it. Experience gain, new topic, new combo. Uh, gameplay didn't go up, darn it. I hope it could. Level design's doing all right. Artificial intelligence, world design. Graphics, sweet. Up, 3D graphics up. So I'm hoping those two together Ooh, I'm level 8 now, will result in me getting a new research topic. Well, yes, 3D graphics, version 3, that's what I want. That's what I want. And advanced stereoscopic 3D. Nobody likes 3D. Uh, so go ahead and um, wait until it's released, and then we'll do the, the uh, game report. First reviews of our newly released game, Alan Wick, came in. What are people saying about it? I saw a 7 in there. Five, fun at stages, Star Games. Thanks, buddy. Four, they shouldn't forget about dialogues. It, it wasn't very important. Four, not bad, not good. I would love to give it like a 10. 10. Nice experience, all games. Okay, so they liked it. Um, so go ahead and do generate a game report for me. For Alan with average five. All right. How much, how many guys are going to come visit us at our G3 booth? Not a lot, looks like. Oh, maybe. So we're getting more. Every time we get a little more. 
So 433,000 people visited our booth. We didn't make it in the top 100 booths again. Okay, he's going to do our game report. Not selling a lot of units. We're not moving a lot of units there, unfortunately. Okay, so we got uh, 73 research. 75, 76. Okay, today Grapple, the company responsible for the massively successful Griffone, has announced their plans to release a tablet device called the Grippad. Tablet devices are not a new idea in the computing industry, but earlier attempts that never seemed to take off. Many expect the Grippad to do very well. Okay. All right. So he's done. Our post-release post -release analysis of Alan Wick is a complete. We got the following results. Mystery and action is a terrible combination. Level design seems to be very important for this type of game. Platform genre match. Places in three action. Great. Platform audience match. M box 360. Everyone good. Okay, so they didn't like that. Can I research um, better graphics? Oh, we're so close. Uh, we need to take on... Well, these guys can't do anything though because they're really tired. So go ahead and everybody go to vacation. Send them on vacation. Send them on vacation. Because we need to get enough to do a... Um, like a 3D graphics and build a new engine. So, so they'll, go, they'll go on vacation and when they come back, we'll have them do some... Um, some contract work. Okay, so let's do... Today, the new game pl platform Grabad by Grapple has been released. Okay, so they're all back. Let's do a uh, fine contract work logo animation. 14, four weeks accounting software. We're really strong on tech, so that's the kind of thing that I would want to do. Cutscene in three weeks? No way. Except except that contract. Okay. Do 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 do. Yeah, we're really good on technology, so this should be a breeze. Yeah, it's not even take take us half the time to do it. It seems that the market market has normalized again with no particular strong trends at the moment. Yeah, so it took us half the time. Nice job. We will transfer $73,000 in your account. I didn't really want the money. I just want the, the research points. Uh, research. Okay, we're going to do uh, 3D graphics version 3. Um, can we do a contract work while you're doing this? Find contract, contract work. Um, can't do that one. That's going to take way too much time. Usability study. Set up computers. Oh yeah, let's do that one. That one's easy. You guys will have this done in no time. Alan Wick is now off the market. It sold 492,000 units, generating 5.4 million in sales. So it didn't break the gold. Didn't go gold. EPA. <clears throat> I'm an employee of the Environmental Protection Agency and I have an offer for you. Your company has a high electrical footprint right now. If you would install solar panels, you could decrease your footprint and save money in the long run. We would sponsor 50% of the costs, which brings your investment to $200,000. Would you like to install it? Yeah, we can do that. Not bad. That'll great. It was a wise decision installing this solar collector. Smiley face. So it'll cut down on our um, monthly cost, I think. So we need some more research points. Thanking for taking care of us. We'll transfer thirty-eight thousand to your account. Okay. Can we have train it? Can we research anything aside from new topics? No. So let's go ahead and research a new topic. Music. Oh, we could. Oh, let's do a, a music here. Start research. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna do a new game here. Mushroom Games has recently installed solar panels in their office. While the video game and software industries are one of the cleanest industries on earth, they do eat up a lot of electricity. So installing solar panels can really make an impact. Yep, we're we're mean, green, and clean. Okay, so he's gonna do music. Okay, so music. So we're gonna do a new game. New game. It is going to be called Mock Band. E for everyone. Medium. Pick a topic. It's going to be music. It's going to be a music simulation. Or no, let's do a music simulation slash casual. Pick the platform. Mbox. And we're going to do a places in three. And we're going to do the new. So let's get the license for the new. And we're going to use the Z engine. Next. 3D graphics. Start development. So Mock Band is going to be the name of our music simulation casual game. Um, story and quests, not very important for this. But gameplay and engine, definitely, yeah. Everything else looks good. I don't know if that beeping noise is picking up. They're doing construction out on the road outside my apartment, so... Which they've been doing for the past five months. 
Hi, this is Julian Rickstall from GamerPro. I got m word that Mushroom Games is working on a new game. Would you like to be willing to share some information on your new current game project and do an interview about it? Okay, yeah, we'll do it. Many of our readers are curious as to what about what decisions go into making a video game and how companies prioritize development areas. Your new game is a music simulation casual game. Can you tell us why such a game would usually focus more on sound or on dialogue? On sound, obviously. Thank you for your time. It's a music game, one of good sound. In a recent interview with Mushroom Games, we can discuss their upcoming music simulation casual game with an Ask Company founder and Theogen how different development areas are prioritized. In the interview, um, Theogen said that sound is of particular importance for such a game, and it seems that other industry professionals agree with this. Every game development project has limited resources, so it's very important to use the time most effectively. I don't think it's going to be very, like, technologically adept. But I think it's going to be big on... Okay, so here we go. So dialogue's kind of low. Uh, artificial intelligence... I mean, I guess needs to be kind of high, but okay. I'm going to make dialogue a little better. So let's go ahead and get the marketing going. Um, magazines and demos. Give people a chance to try it out. Because, I mean, it, it's a sim game, so it's a casual game. People are going to want to play... You know, the music. They're going to think the music is cool. Hey, we got to do really well on design technology this time. I'm hoping that's the case. All right, I'm really hoping we can get some high design technology and stuff. Do really well. Okay, so sound really high. We want to have a high on sound. Um, is sound a tech, fall under tech, or is it a um, design thing? Graphics are going to be pretty good. World design doesn't need to be as strong. I feel like like sound is a design thing. So let's go ahead and put sound there. So let's have him do that. Okay, so he's 100%. Caleb Bell's not doing very much this time. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so yeah, so it's going to have really high, really great sound quality. People are going to love it. It's going to sound great. They're doing that. Oh yeah, design's doing great. Technology's doing great. Get all those bugs out of there. Technology, bugs, design's above 100. Wow, look at that technology we've got. We've got 146. Design hype's 103. Technology, get above 150, at least. Can we get design above 110? Game convention. Um, small booth. Um... Go into a medium booth. How much does that cost? It costs half a million. Um, we're not getting very many fans. Let's do a medium booth this time. Okay. And come on, get the design. Okay, hype starting to drop. Oh, we got a bug. Get rid of the bug. Go ahead and finish because we're, we're losing um, hype there. New record, sweet. New record, yes. New combo, new good man. Oh, kick ass. Game Boy engine going up. Level design. Artificial intelligence. Oh, sweet. Graphics not leveling up. Graphics. 3D graphics version 2. Sound. Jack Long leveled up. Sweet. Caleb Bell leveled up. Alright, release the game. Good increase in experience. The following staff have earned a raise. So Jack Long's earning 74,000. Caleb Bell's earning 44,000. New research available. Online play. Skill trees. Dynamic environment. Ooh, yes. Online play is going to be huge. Alright. First reviews for our newly released game, Mock Band, came in. I like it, Star Games. Shows potential, according to game, Informed Gamer. Good game, Game Hero says. Beautiful, according to all games. Okay, close the game. Alright. Actually, close the window there. Alright, so let's have you do a regenerate game report on Mock Band. All right, so game convention. Oh, there's Mock Band and Alan Wick. We're, told, we're doing two stuff. All right, come on. We should get more fans. Half a million at least. Oh, yes, there we go. We had 527,000 people. All right, so it was a waste of our money there to do that. All right, so he's researching that. So I want to get some of those new stuff researched. So we're going to go gold, definitely. 
Uh, we just got word that Mach Band, which was recently released by Martian Games, has racked up over 500,000 in sales. We wonder how many more it will sell. All right. Mach Band is awesome. People love Mach Band. Okay. Okay, our post-release analysis of Mach Band is complete, and we got the following results. Music and simulation casual. It's a great combination. Sound seems very important for this type of game. Platform genre match. Mbox 360 simulation. Good. Let's do some research. What can we research? Skill trees, sound, uh, save to cloud, online play, advanced stereoscopic 3D, world design, virtual economy. I want to do online play really badly. Uh, let's go ahead and do um, a new, find some contract work, time tracking. Let's do that. That's That'll be something we can get some skill points with. Or some research points, I should say. Exactly the sort of thing we're good at. Yeah, so m knock that technology down, guys. Excellent. Would hire again. We transferred $90,000 to your account. Okay, so let's go ahead and research um, the online play. We're going to do an online game. So Mock Band is doing great. We might, we, I don't know if we're going to make 100,000 or a million units, but uh, we might. No, oh, we're not going to. It's falling off too fast. But, uh, I mean, it's doing pretty good. I, I like that it, that people liked it. Today, Merkinoff has announced their own tablet device to combat the massive market share of Apple's Grippad device. The Mpad features an sophisticated cover that comes with an integrated ultra-thin ultra keyboard. The tablet itself has a widescreen display and an integrated stand. It's not going to do very well. The pad seems to be a combination of a traditional notebook and a tablet and promises to shake up the market. The new product will be available on the market early next year. Okay. Um, completed. Online play. Okay, let's make a new engine. Oh, these guys are... Do we have enough time to do a new engine? Create custom engine. Um, so, yeah. So, we're going to add 3D graphics version 3, full motion video, online play. Do we have anything else we can add on there? Surround sound. All right. Create the engine, guys. All right, so we're going to let them all work on that. And then as soon as they're done with making the engine, we're going to have them go on vacation. Mock Band is now off the market. It sold 902,000 units and generating $9.9 million in sales. That's not too bad. It sold quite a few units. It was popular. People liked it. We'll, we'll release Mock Band 2, you know, eventually. In the meantime, these guys are going to develop a new... Oh, I didn't, I didn't put a new name on it. It's going to be graphics and game engine number 6. Damn it, I forgot to put the new name engine. Name on that engine. Oh well, that happens sometimes. Alright. Although I do have to admit that if I numbered them, it would have been easier to keep track, which is the most recent one. Alright, so we got some more research points. Ninvento has released their bid for the next generation of consoles. will be called the Woo. The new console features a controller with an integrated display. Alright. This is... This is said to make uh, mul local multiplayer games much more interesting by giving each player a unique screen. Ninvento has always been on the forefront of innovation, and this console seems once again to be a brave move. The Wood is said to be available next year. Alright, so... I'll have to keep that in mind. We need to do the Woo. Be ready for the Woo. Coming up. Okay, so these guys are going to get ready to go on vacation here as soon as they finish this new engine. So you guys can't crap out on me yet. You gotta finish this new engine. I'm doing most of the work, notice. Because they're all getting really tired. Alright. 42 research points. They're almost crapped out. They're almost completely crapped out, which is unfortunate. So we got another proposition from our spy. Decrypt the message. This is a very special offer. Our agents have recently managed to gain access to some critical systems of one of your competitors. If you want to play war games, then $85,000. We're going to decline. I don't feel I need to do that. We're good guys here. We our motto is don't be evil or than usual. Alright, so they're almost completely crapped out. Today the new game platform Impad by Merkinoff has been released. Right, do we want to develop any games for the Impad? I don't think it's gonna be very successful, so. And yeah, now I'm doing all the dang work on this guy. The Impad has really received mixed reviews at launch, with many many of them highlighting the fact that the Impad is not indeed not the same as the Grippad from Grapple. We'll see what the future holds for this platform. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be very good. People don't like it. They think they think that Merkinoft is evil. Come on, guys, finish it, finish it up. See, these are doing aren't doing anything. 
uh, send on vacation. Send these guys on vacation since they're not doing anything. Might as well get them finished there while my guy finishes up here. Make this game engine number six. Today, the new game platform, Woo! by Ninvento has been released. All right. Okay. The big game convention will take place in four weeks' time. Do you want to participate? All right, so let's do a small booth, I guess. Your new game engine number six is now complete. All right, research. We could do a new topic, I suppose. New topic. Evolution. We're going to do an evolution game. Start the research. Start the research. Yeah, we're going to do an evolution game. Okay, and... Done. Completed evolution. These guys are going to be back here in a second. Okay, they're all back. We're going to do it. Oh, here's our G3 convention thing. Mock band! Yeah. Alright. How well is mock band? How well is our booth going to do this time? 523,000. Still not in the top 100, I'm sure. Okay, so let's start a new project. Develop a new game. It's going to be called Seed. It's a medium game. Pick topic. It's going to be an evolution game. It is going to be a simulation game. Pick platform. We're going to do it on the PC. And then we're going to pick a game engine, which is going to be the game engine number six. First game with our game engine number six is going to be Seed. It was a medium sized game, right? Yeah. Okay, um, it is going to use 3D Graphics version 3. Okay, so Seed. People are going to love Seed. Well, maybe not. Um, engine is very important to have a high engine and high gameplay. Full motion video on this one. We're going to have online play. You're going to be able to share your little seeds with other people. I guess you can't do multiplayer and online play at the same time. So I guess one does what leads the other. So Storyline Quest is going to be up a little bit. We're building the hype. Wow, that's really going up there. Fast. Alright. Um... People are gonna really gonna like this game. Okay, level design is pretty important. Artificial intelligence is very important. Dialogue's okay. Everything's filled out there. Let's go ahead and get uh, some marketing. We're gonna do magazines and demos. Choose that guy. People are going to love Seed. All right. So we got oh we got we got over a hundred technology already. Wow, that's gonna be really good. Um, world design not as important. Uh, let's put it right about here, I guess. Graphics, very important. Sound, surround sound, yeah. Sound, pretty important. Caleb Bell is not doing very much. Let's have him do the world design, because he's that way we'll, won't be as tough on these other guys. Roll that down to 100%. Okay. Wow, look how high that our technology is. I think it's, gonna, it's definitely going to crack 150, I'm sure. All right, wow. Seed might end up being a big hit. Okay, so we gotta get all those bugs out. And to get the design up. We got 112 points. In two months, the new will be taken off the market. Wow, really? No, it was hardly on the market at all. 175, okay, design. Another bug in there. Get the rid of the bugs, okay, design, there we go. More bugs. Okay, the hype's starting to come down. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish it. Release the game. Experience gained on new record. Look at that. New topic, new combo. Good management, yeah. Gameplay, story quests, dialogues, level design. Everything's going up. World design, leveled up, sweet. Graphics. Oh, we almost leveled up 3D graphics. All right, Gabriel Pittman, Caleb Bell's come up. Release the game. New research available, realistic weather. Okay, so our first reviews for our newly released game, Seed, came in. Oh, oh, I see tens. I see tens. Truly great. Oh, Star Games. Oh, this is going to be a big success. Ten. Ten, a masterpiece. Ten, ten. Oh, almost perfect. Game Hero, you're the one who made almost perfect. More, please. 
Okay, so Gay Bell, I want you to generate game report. Because you're my research guy. Seed. Whoa, whoa, look at those units we're, sh we're shipping. Wow, it went it went gold the first month that it was out. The first week. We got word that Seed was recently released by Mushroom Games. Has racked up over 500,000 in sales. Go Mushroom Games, well done, yes. Okay, so he's gonna do some more research. New is no longer supported. We've released one game for the platform and earned a total of 9.9 .9 million. We just got word that Seed, which was recently released by Mushroom Games, has racked up over 1 million in sales. If the game were a music writer, it would have platinum status. Wow, we're doing so well. Seed has uh, competitors have been observing mutter have been observed muttering jealous remarks. Man, Seed's doing really well. Wow, much much better than the than the than the real world game, which it very which it bears no resemblance to whatsoever. News: I've been playing Seed and have been tremendously enjoyed the experiment experience. The sound in this game gives you goosebumps. Very well designed. Rarely, rarely will a game captivate you as much as Seed. Julian Rickstall, Game Pro. All right, yeah, yeah. Seed is doing awesome. Wow, and that look how much of a boost that gave me. Our post-release analysis of Seed is complete, and we got the following results: Evolution and Simulation is a great combination. Story and quests seems not to be very important for this type of game. Dialogue seems not to be very important for this type of game. We already knew that. Um, so let's go ahead and do some more research. We've got 126 research points. Uh, what do we got? I don't. No one cares about 3D though. I mean, although, oh, I guess we would need that for the when they come up with a GS 3D. We need that. Um, we could do soundtrack, dynamic and dynamic environment. Oh, people are gonna want that. Or if we do skill trees. Um, let's do skill trees, and then we're gonna have. You do also do character progression. So we'll do recent RP. We'll make an engine for an RPG with those. Ooh, $77 million. We're doing great. Seed is such a huge success. We moved 2.7 million units. I think Seed may be our biggest success ever. And I owe it all to evolution. All right, so those are finished. Let's make a new... I mean, I don't know like to make engines this close together, but let's make a custom engine, I think. That includes these character progression and skill trees options. Uh, we're gonna call this the seed engine. No, we're gonna call it the um, husk engine. All right, uh, create the engine. All right, by the time they're created, we'll probably need to send these guys on vacation. Oh, we sold you three million units on for seed. It's number two. Don't even take it off the market until it drops below like ten. So, we've gained a lot of fans from Seed, so that's great. That's, that's awesome. So we'll make the Husk engine here. Oh, 81 million dollars, wow, we're doing so well. Seed is now off the market, it sold 3.2 million units, generating 35 million in sales, that's awesome. It's so sweet, sweet, sweet moolah. Yeah. Man, we're doing so great with that Seed. All right, these guys are probably gonna need to go on vacation by the time that this engine is done, I think. Gain a lot of research points. All right, so I mean, one of the fastest ways to generate research points is develop new engines, but it's expensive, all right? Big game convention will take place in four weeks time. We're just gonna do a small booth right now. Okay, new engine's been done. New, new engine, the Husk engine is now complete. Um, if we want to do some more research, let's do some research. We only at 67 there, so some of the more advanced options we can't do, but let's do a virtual economy. And then we're going to also research new topic. New topic. Vocabulary. I don't want to do a vocabulary game. Let's do a, uh, let's do a business game. I just want to clear that out so we can. Oh, we can. I guess we can research one more thing. So let's research a new topic from this guy. Time travel. Hmm. We're gonna start research time travel. Oh yeah. See, they're almost ready to go on vacation. So as soon as we're done with this research, we'll have them go on vacation here. Virtual economy. All right, is ready. So we'll have that for the next. Um, Engine. I should. I, what I feel like we should be doing is picking up some of those, those smaller ones that we haven't done yet. But Ooh, oh, we're getting a lot. Oh, a lot of fans. People love Seed. They're coming to visit us. 
610,000 fans. We made we made it in the top 100 conference attractions this year. It placed 100. We broke the top 100 people. Oh, that's so great. Um, so we've broken a hundred the top 100. Finally, people have have decided to visit Mushroom Games' booth at G3. Um, I think that, given that we that's a great place to end our uh, this episode, going out on top. I will see you next time.